This chum usually catches grunts, small jacks, pinfish, silver sides, and pilchards, guys. Sardines as well. So, once again, hope you guys like this video. Stick around, guys, for another lit video, y'all. From the lights and the leaves to the bites on your knees, kill the universe. Might get a sight of the breeze. You're not psychic, you're free. I'm the architect. What is up, YouTube? It's your boy, Angler Boy T Black, checking in with a whole nother video and a whole nother adventure. And today, I'm going to be heading into Dollar Tree and picking up a few items to show you guys a super simple and very effective way to make saltwater fishing chum without a blender and that can even be done on the go. But before we get into that, guys, I want to sincerely say thank you all from the bottom of my heart for helping the Fishing Like a Local family grow to 600 plus subscribers so fast you guys individually truly mean the world to me you guys inspire me you guys motivate me to get up and do these videos every week and i love it guys so to show my appreciation for you guys i'm going to be hosting a giveaway in my next upcoming video i'll inform you guys a lot more about the giveaway but i want to give you guys a tip i'm going to be giving out three zebco slingshots rod and reel combos which i use in my last peacock bass fishing video with my buddy richard to catch a lot of peacock bass but i also use these same rod and reel combos to sabiki up bait or to catch pinfish guys so without any further ado stick around for another lit video y'all All right, guys, we found the tuna. I remember back in the days, me and my dad, we would just poke like six, seven holes in the top and bottom of these cans, tie our mono line to it, and drop this down to the bottom, and that would be our chum. So that's another way you guys could do that, but we're gonna need that tuna. Alrighty guys, I just made it back from the Dollar Tree and these are the ingredients that I picked up. I got some quick oats, one bag of dry cat or dog food, and then two cans of cat or dog food as well, the mushy stuff, and then at least one can of tuna for the smell and the scent guys, and then a loaf of bread with some tap water and a nice big bowl to mix it all in guys so let me open up these cans and get back to you once I'll get them open y'all see you in a bit alrighty guys now that we got all of our cans open packages open and some utensils to mix it all up with I found these super old pair of metal tongs and this super old dusty spoon in the back of the closet guys so Let's get to mixing. First, what you want to do is add a little bit of your water to your bowl, about that much, and drop in a few slices of bread or sheets of bread, guys, whatever you guys call those, just to let those start to dissolve. Maybe like half the pack. Then, you want to take your spoon and you want to get this dog food or cat food throw about half of that in there and now we starting to get stinky y'all then throw about half your tuna in there as well take the other dog food which will probably be chunky and shake about half of that in there we get it somewhere y'all now we just want to give that a nice mix look at that check that out y'all we get it somewhere now 
Then you want to take the oats and throw about half of that in there. And you want to add water as you need it to keep a nice consistency and not too mushy, not too pasty, y'all. So, and this is going to be wet chum, guys. I'm not going to have this chum frozen or anything. I'm just going to use it just like this. And this chum usually catches bait fish, guys. This is not to attract snapper or anything but bait fish, guys. So, once you give that a nice mix, you want to add the rest of your ingredients. The other half of that. The other half of those. That's what you have. The rest of that tuna. The last bit of those oats. Now the dry cat food, y'all. Throw that in. The rest of that bread. Break that up a little bit. Just like that, y'all. Then douse that with some more water. Just like that, y'all. Let's go all the way with that water, y'all. So we just used all of our ingredients. Now we're going to give this a nice mix, y'all. Ooh, look at that. Smells so good, but bad at the same time. And these hard pieces of cat food, like these guys, they're going to dissolve as this chum sits in the fridge. And then they're going to become just as mushy as the bread. So you don't have to worry about those, guys. So you just want to mix that up. Now it's starting to look like chum. And guys, like I said earlier, I'm telling you, I used to do this with my dad long ago. And we would bring all the pilchards up. We would bring so many pilchards up, guys. It wasn't even funny. This stuff smells just like a brick of chum. And if you want to put this in a bag, you can. You just want to drop this whole bowl in the freezer for a bit. Don't let it get too solid. And then just portion it into your, your chum bags or mesh bags. And then, like any other chum, tie it to a rope and hang it off the side of the bridge or the back of the boat, y'all. And I'm going to just keep mixing this until we got a nice consistency. Check that out, y'all nice chum look at that y'all Woo! and we got so much of it this bowl probably weighs like a good eight nine pounds easy no less than five pounds of chum right there y'all and we're just gonna keep mixing that and then we're gonna cover this with a lid and let it sit and when, typically when you're chasing pilchards pinfish or any bait you want to take nice little scoops like this and you want this stuff to still be mushy like it is right now and then you want to just toss it out guys right into the open water something like that that's all you want to do you want to throw it like that guys so I'm gonna continue to mix this hope you guys found this chum recipe helpful I truly love and appreciate all you guys in the next video I will inform you guys more about that giveaway on those three Zepco slingshots, rod and reel combos, guys, which I also will be using in the next video, along with this chum that I made today to show you guys how to catch bait. This chum usually catches grunts, small jacks, pinfish, silver sides, and pilchards, guys, sardines as well. So, once again, hope you guys like this video. Stick around, guys, for another lit video, y'all. See you in the next one. Peace.